if you want to make this personalized wreath hanger, keep watching. Okay, we're going to start out with any monogram that matches your name. It can be wood, it can be anything you want, or it could be metal, whichever. Then you're going to use a some hook and loop or some Velcro. Get that from Dollar Tree. Some pipe cleaners from Dollar Tree, a wreath hanger from Dollar Tree, jute from Dollar Tree, and I have some scrap ribbons that were also from Dollar Tree. All right, so first I want to kind of get an idea of how I want this thing to look. And I know that I want to attach my P onto here, but if it's going to be hanging outside, I am also fully aware that in the heat where I live and the wind, there's no way it's going to stay on if I just put glue. So I'm going to use this little trick that I use often. It's to take some hot glue with a little piece of pipe cleaner and use that to attach it to the the hanger. For a little additional support, I'm going to use a piece of a popsicle stick. You can get those at Dollar Tree also, but you can pretty much get those in any craft section at any store. I'm going to use these little clips from the Dollar Tree to hold that in place. And those are in the crafter section. I think it's called Crafter Square. They have all kinds of good stuff over there. All right, so if you noticed on that letter P, there was a slit in the top where it had an, it, uh, like a ribbon hanger or something. I wanna cover that up because we're not gonna be using that part to hang anything. So we're gonna disguise it with a little jute bow. I'm just taking three pieces, gonna tie that simple bow in the top. So two loops, twist them around, poke one through the hole in the center and then pull them out. You know, flip the tails over and just adjust it to the length that you want it to be. This is just a little trick to cover up the hole if you happen to use like an ornament or um, lots of time at Christmas you can get these letters to, um, to craft with and if there's a hole in there you can use it to cover up, disguise it a little bit. So I'm just going to trim that longer piece of burnt orange down. These are wired ribbons. You know, pinch them up in the middle to make a little bow and then just a little piece of jute around the middle and tie it in the back. We're winding down on the fall videos here, getting a little bit closer to the Halloween crafts. I've already got lots of things done and recorded, so I hope that y'all will consider sticking around for that. It's, it's going to be a lot of fun, I think. Okay, so a double knot there, and then I'm going to trim off the excess. And I've decided that I want this hanger to be something that I can change out for the seasons. So that's why I chose to use, instead of hot gluing this down or attaching it with a pipe cleaner like I did the letter, I'm going to use a little bit of this Velcro to attach it. And it's kind of wide. I don't want it to show, so I'm just going to cut it in half. And then I'll have half for another project. Make sure when you're doing this that you have one side that's rough and one side that is soft because that's how they stick together. Just be sure sometimes they look so similar on the paper that you might, you might mess up here. So just save you that, that little problem that could occur. So I put it there. I'm going to use a little, little bit of Gorilla Glue to attach the other piece. And then give it a little bit of time to dry. I have glue strings everywhere. It looks like I'm attached to my bow. Hot glue on the little bow and right onto the letter. So now you can't see that little slit in the top. So 
I'm glad about that. All right. Just got my bow in place up there. Now I'm going to attach the letter to the sign. I'm going to give it a good firm twist and bend those up. All right. So you can actually at this point slide that letter up and down until you get it where you want it to be. But then once it is where you want it, you can um, take just a little bit of glue to hold it in place. You see, I've got it slid it up. I think it looks a little better that way. And that way I have plenty of room on the bottom to accommodate a thicker wreath when I use my grapevine wreaths. So just a little bit of glue on there. And I'm going to take a, a little scrap of wire and just move that a little bit. And that's actually a little bit on that popsicle stick that was on the back of the letter. And it's just a little bit sticking to the pipe cleaner, but it comes off easily. And then it's sticking on the hanger. You don't want to use a lot because then it defeats the purpose of being able to move it or take it off. So. But anyway, that is it. And here it is with an example of some of the wreaths that I've already made. I'll put the links for those videos below for you if you want to watch them. And I think it is so cute. What do you think? All right, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you soon. Bye.